guys, it's High School Mac. Today we have a new tutorial on installing Windows 8, the developer preview. I'm going to install it in Parallels 7. You can also do it in VMware and VirtualBox, but um, I'll include the URL for those in the description. So let's go ahead and open up Parallels. And first you're going to want to uh, download the ISO. That's uh, on Windows the Windows website um, that takes about half an hour to 40 minutes to download it's a 3.4 gigabyte file so go and make a cup of coffee or something like that alright so in parallels we're gonna wanna click on install Windows from DVD or image file and we're gonna go ahead and find that ISO and it's gonna pop up with authentication automatic right. and you're just gonna wanna click more windows other windows and I'm gonna rename mine windows 8 and I'm just gonna throw it on my desktop um, click continue and it's gonna go ahead and open up the installation. Parallel Seven, um, they just came out with a new update for Lion. It includes all the features that you'd expect, including full screen and auto save and versions. Everything else that you'd expect from Lion is included with this update. So I suggest that you guys check this out. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and install Windows. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and accept the terms. Um, there's nothing to worry about here. This is a completely legal and legit install method. It's just a developer preview, so there's nothing to worry about. Um, there's no pirating involved. So we're going to go ahead and click custom, and it's going to start installing. This may take a while. Um, usually takes about half an hour to 45 minutes to get everything installed and initialized. So I'm going to pause the video. Alright, it took about 10 minutes to do all this preparing and initializing drivers and such. And it's about to boot up. Alright, so we got a few uh, slick Metro UI animations here. And we're going to type in Let's just go with high school back. Um. All right, you guys can customize, but I'm just going to go with express settings for the video. Um. I don't think I'm going to want to use it. ID. Um, yeah, let's just use a local. Alright, let's make it easier. High school Mac. We don't need a password. Alright, so it's going to finalize your settings and it's going to load up the new interface. All right. Desktop. So it just booted into this new uh, Metro UI interface. Um, my first impression that it it looks a lot like Windows um, Phone Seven, but I think it looks really nice and clean. I guess um, obviously we don't have a touch screen, and this is more orientated for that. But um, I think it really looks slick. 
So we're at the desktop right now. Let's see if I can get a little better. Oh, resolution. Um, this is actually my first time using Windows 8, so I'm just as new as you guys are. All right. It's got a lot new a lot of new animations. Um which I don't know how that will work on the tablets with only like one gig of RAM. Um But to me I mean this looks a lot like Windows seven with an added skin, so. Alright, that's my native resolution. Alright, and then that's press. Oh, there we go, release my mouse. And we're just going to put this in full screen. Check out that line feature. Alright, so this actually looks like I'm running Windows 8. And you can actually... Yeah, let's release this mouse again. You can change the settings for this virtual machine, and you can add um, more RAM, and you can add more cores. And I'm guessing that will make it run a lot faster but I won't take the time to set that up um, alright so this is just the tutorial on how to install Windows 8 um, check out all of our other videos and check back soon for another video of what are my impressions of Windows 8 and just some of the features in it alright comment rate subscribe thanks guys